It's over. Princess and the steadfast royal just breaks silence and shocks William and Catherine with a bold statement. Are we witnessing a royal family turning point? A royal shocker in the making. Imagine Princess and, known for her reliability, suddenly speaking out. She rarely shares her thoughts on family matters. Yet, she's now bold and vocal, challenging the monarchy's future. She criticized her brother's plan for a slimmed-down monarchy. King Charles wants this change for the monarchy's future. Has Princess and just voiced her opinion, or has she sparked a big change in the royal family? Her words have shocked everyone, including William and Catherine. The stability of the royal family is now at risk. Let's explore why Princess Anne's statement is shaking the monarchy. We'll see why the slimmed-down approach might not be as popular as thought. The slimmed-down monarchy, a modern vision or a risky gamble. King Charles wants a smaller monarchy. He believes it will be less expensive for taxpayers and more appealing to the public. But is cutting roles wise? Think of the royal family as an ancient tree. Trimming it too much could weaken its roots. Anne's words make this metaphor real. Will the British public still see us as connected to them if we no longer stand among them? She asked. Curiosity spark. If a loyal member is uneasy, what does it mean for the monarchy's future? Could Charles's vision fail? Why Anne's statement resonates. A look at her own role in the monarchy. Princess Anne's words are rare but impactful. She's dedicated to charity and her duties, making her a key member of the family. So, why is she speaking out now? For and it's about preserving tradition and legacy. She fears a slimmed-down monarchy could lose its essence. Her words resonate with those who value tradition and service. In 2022, Anne did over 300 official engagements. If her role is reduced, who will take on these duties? Would the monarchy become symbolic rather than functional? Curiosity spark. Does Anne's loyalty represent a dwindling approach to royalty, or is she protecting something needed? What would happen to the monarchy's influence without her? The growing divide. Prince William, Catherine, and the new royal family dynamics, asterisk, asterisk. Princess Anne's statement has caused tension in the family, especially with Prince William and Catherine. William supports his father's vision for a smaller monarchy. This has raised questions about whether William and Anne have different visions for the monarchy. While Anne sticks to tradition, William and Catherine are going for a more relaxed monarchy. They've made headlines with their hands-on parenting and focus on mental health. These causes resonate with the younger generation. Is there a conflict brewing? And might want to keep traditional roles, while William sees change as key. Does Anne's view clash with William and Catherine's modern approach? Curiosity spark. Could this generational divide signal more than just a difference in opinion? Is it a foreshadowing of future rifts within the family, potentially threatening their unity? Public sentiment. How does the slim-down monarchy play with the British people? Asterisk, asterisk. The British public has mixed feelings about the monarchy. Some like Charles's cost-effective idea, while others prefer a larger family for more public engagement. The monarchy is a symbol of tradition and continuity. Anne's statement reflects a sentiment many share. The monarchy's strength lies in its visibility. With fewer events and causes, there might be fewer personal connections with the people. Does Anne's concern reflect public views? Are people not ready for monarchy focus more on titles than service? Could the lukewarm response to Charles's vision mean the monarchy might lose its special place in the nation's psyche? Curiosity spark. Will Charles's new vision rally public support, or will it lead to a growing disconnect between the monarchy and the people? Tension in the palace. Behind closed doors, asterisk, asterisk. The royal family's public image is managed tightly, but Anne's critique hints at tension. King Charles is pragmatic, but his vision might not be fully supported by his relatives. This has created an unprecedented strain. Insiders say King Charles is committed to change, but values family support. This division poses a unique challenge. The slim-down approach might force the royal family to adapt or divide. Curiosity spark. How deep do these tensions run? Could these internal divisions eventually lead to an irreversible fracture within the family? A turning point. What does this mean for the future of the monarchy?
Princess Anne's critique might be a turning point in the royal family's history. The monarchy must balance tradition with change to survive. King Charles's slimmed-down approach is creating more questions than answers. Anne's concerns ask if the monarchy is ready for such a radical shift. Or is this plan an oversimplification of a complex institution? If Anne's words are ignored, they might become a haunting reminder of what the monarchy might lose in the pursuit of modernity. Conclusion What's next for the royals? Princess Anne's statement has made the monarchy's future uncertain. Her words challenge King Charles and the royal family to define their institution. Tradition, service, and visibility are key to the monarchy's strength. Are these pillars being sacrificed for a more streamlined, less accessible royal family? The ball is in King Charles's court, and the world is watching. Anne's critique reminds us that change should never harm a legacy. As the royals navigate these times, finding the right balance between duty and modernization is crucial. Hashtag, 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 hashtag call to action. What do you think? Is a smaller monarchy a good idea, or could it harm a long-standing tradition? Share your thoughts on the future of the monarchy. Should we stick to old ways or make big changes? Let's discuss if Princess and his right to worry, or if King Charles's plan for a modern monarchy is the way to go. Anne's loyalty versus Charles's vision, a battle of values, asterisk, asterisk. Princess Anne's criticism has hit a nerve. Her loyalty to the monarchy is more than just a job. It's about a life of sacrifice and dedication. For centuries, the monarchy has been built on duty and hard work, and sees the monarchy as a bridge between the royal family and the public. She believes it's the family's duty to keep that connection strong. She thinks reducing roles and public appearances could harm the monarchy's image. On the other hand, King Charles wants to modernize the monarchy. He thinks it should fit today's world better, but and sees this as a threat to the monarchy's core values. Hashtag, 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 hashtag curiosity spark. Does Anne's loyalty represent a relic of the past, or is it a necessary reminder of the monarchy's enduring role? And can Charles's reforms coexist with Anne's vision? The ripple effect on royal duties, a potential crisis of public engagement. Reducing the monarchy could mean fewer public events. For years, royals like and have shown their commitment by attending many events. These moments help people feel connected to the royal family. If there are fewer royals, there could be fewer public appearances. This might hurt charities and the public's view of the monarchy. It could make people lose trust and admiration. Anne's work for charities is key to the monarchy service. She worries about who will take on her role if it changes. Could fewer events lead to fewer personal connections? Or could it change how royals serve? Curiosity spark. Would a streamlined monarchy make the royals more distant from the public they serve? Is this shift in roles worth the potential cost to public engagement? William and Catherine's role. Can they fill the gap? Asterisk, asterisk. If the monarchy gets smaller, William and Catherine will have to do more. Can they balance being modern and relatable with the old traditions? William and Catherine have made the royal family more relatable. They are open and seem like regular people. This approach is different from the usual royal reserve. But can they handle more responsibilities? And thinks the monarchy needs more than just a few people. Their modern appeal is great, but can they carry the load alone? Curiosity spark. Could the additional weight of responsibilities on William and Catherine jeopardize their unique approach? And could this added pressure strain their efforts to remain relatable? What the public wants. Tradition or transformation. Asterisk, asterisk. The monarchy's survival hinges on its bond with the British public. Lately, opinions have swayed. Some see it as a symbol of tradition, while others think it's outdated and needs to change. Anne's critique resonates with many who value stability and tradition. Her concerns about a smaller monarchy reflect fears of losing its identity. Yet, Charles's vision also has supporters. They believe the monarchy should evolve with the times. A leaner monarchy might appeal to those who want it to be more affordable and less reliant on family members. But can it still offer the connection and influence a larger monarchy provides? Curiosity spark. Will the monarchy's lean future fulfill public expectations, 
or will the reduction in visibility weaken its impact? Could this transformation actually spark a deeper conversation on the monarchy's role in modern Britain? Inside the palace, how family dynamics are shifting asterisk asterisk. The monarchy has always seemed united, but differing views on its future might stir a power struggle. Insiders say Anne's critique has highlighted Charles's vision and raised concerns among family members. Recently, William and Catherine's rise has changed family dynamics. Family members may question their roles and futures. For Princess and any reduction in her duties could feel like a personal attack. Her children, Zara and Peter, also contribute quietly to royal causes. If the monarchy becomes smaller, how will it affect the family and extended relatives? Will they accept a reduced role, or could it cause more divisions? Curiosity Spark could this potential restructuring sow the seeds for new alliances or divisions within the royal family? And how might this change impact the unity the family has long maintained? A historical perspective. What past royals teach us about change asterisk asterisk? The British monarchy has faced reform calls before. Its survival is due to its ability to adapt. King George VI navigated World War II with grace, and Queen Elizabeth II led through decades of change, balancing modernity with tradition. What lessons can we learn from these rulers? Anne's words remind us that change is necessary, but must respect tradition. A monarchy is strongest when it evolves at a pace that reflects public and family values. Curiosity Spark Will Charles learn from history, or is he destined to repeat past mistakes? Could Anne's critique be a guiding voice to help the monarchy find this balance? Conclusion The monarchy at a crossroads Princess Anne's statement has put the monarchy at a crossroads. Her critique highlights the importance of tradition, service, and connection with the people. Yet, King Charles's vision for a leaner, more affordable monarchy tests these values. Anne's words caution that change must be handled with care. Her fears remind us that modernization should not compromise the monarchy's core principles. As the royal family navigates these times, the balance between duty, tradition, and progress will define its legacy. Will Charles's dream of a smaller monarchy set a new standard for royal families, or will Anne's doubts be right? Only time will tell. But one thing is clear. The future of the British monarchy is more uncertain than ever. The world is eagerly watching. What are your thoughts on the royal family's debate about a smaller monarchy? Do you think Princess Anne's worries are valid, or should they follow Charles's vision? Share your thoughts. Join the conversation. And let's explore how the monarchy can balance tradition and modern needs.